Hello class and welcome to our video tutorial for the All About Me shirt sales project. So what you can see on my screen are the directions for this project. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to be able to locate this project within Canvas. Okay, and then once you're here, you'll want to take some time to read through the background and the directions. So our background, you have been designed you're, you have been asked to design a basic web page that will allow your amusement park to take t-shirt orders. This page should allow customers to place orders for a variety of options and styles for their shirts. For your efforts, you have been offered a one-week all-expenses-paid Caribbean vacation. Okay, then you would want to scroll down to the directions. Number one, add a new page to your All About Me project in Code HS. Name the page shirt.html. Okay, so what you would want to do first is you would want to go to codehs.com. You would log into your account using your school Gmail account, okay, your school email account. And then in the upper left-hand corner, once you're into your account, you click on the sandbox button in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, and underneath your programs, you should have an All About Me program already started. You would click it, and that will open your All About Me program. Okay, so then the first thing that we want to do after we have our program opened up is we're going to go to the new plus button on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, over on the left, above all our other pages that we've already created, we'll click new plus, and then we'll click on file, the button in the middle, and we're going to type shirt.html. Then we're going to click the blue add file button, shirt.html. Okay, and our new page has been created in code HS. At this point, it's just blank. We need to go through and we're going to add the coding to create the page. All right, so the first thing that we need to do for all of our pages is to put in our basic HTML tags. Okay, so we always start off with our doc type tag, which would be the less than sign, exclamation mark, in all capitals, D O C T Y P E, space, HTML, then a greater than sign, click enter, we put in our HTML tag, which is less than sign HTML, then we're going to put in our head tag, title tag, okay, and the title for this one, maybe you just want to go ahead and call it shirts. Okay, I'm going to click to the right of my closing title tag and hit enter, and put in a style tag. Okay, so you should have an opening and closing style tag that is in between your opening and closing head tags. I'm going to click to the right of my closing head tag, hit enter, and put in an opening body tag, and Code HS will automatically put in my closing body tag. Okay. So there's our basic tags. Okay, we've created our page and we now have the basic tags. What we need to do now is we need to work on getting our links set up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left-hand side of my screen. I'm going to click on index.html. Okay. Now notice on my index page, which is over here on the right-hand side of my screen, I have links for all of the previously created pages. Okay, the home page, the recipe page, interests, movies, athlete, restaurant, amusement park. Okay, so now I need to add a link for my newly created shirt page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to line 13 on my screen. Okay, you'll want to locate the last line of code for your last link okay, that you created. I'm going to click to the right of it, and I'm going to copy the line of code right above it. I'm going to highlight over it, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to copy it. Then I'll paste it in the blank line of code, and I'm just going to change park.html to shirt. HTML. And then I'm going to change amusement park to maybe shirt orders. Okay, or you could just put shirts, whatever you want to put as your link, that's totally up to you. Okay, so there's going to be the link for my home page. I'm going to save it, run it. Okay, and then there's my link, so that's good. Now what I want to do is I want to have all these other links on my newly created shirt page. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all this this coding here that added all these links and I'm just going to right click I'm going to copy I'm going to come back over to shirt.html on the left hand side of the screen and click 
Then in between my opening and closing body tag, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste all of those links. Okay, and we're going to test it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. I'm going to click on my shirt orders link. And then there are all of my links to all my other pages on my newly created shirt page. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to come down and you need to highlight and copy just the shirt link. You're going to right click, you're going to copy, and you're going to put that link into all of your other pages in your All About Me project. Okay, so I'm going to go down to my restaurant page. And I'm going to paste it in the body below my other links. Okay, now mine's missing some links, but that's okay. You'll just want to paste it in after your other links for your restaurant page. and Paste it. Okay, our interest page. Here are my links, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Athlete page. I'm going to come down and I'm going to paste it after my body tag. Okay, and you're going to do that for all of the pages. I'm not going to do the others, but you can go ahead and do that for all of the pages so that when we go to any page in our website, all of the links will be present. Okay. Okay, now we have our pages set up, so now it's, start, it's, it's time to start to add some content to them. Okay, we're going to go back to our directions. And direction number two, added H1 or H2 tag for a title of your new page. Okay, so I'm going to come back. Below my last link, I'm going to hit enter. Okay, I'm going to use an H1 tag. You're welcome to use an H1 or an H2. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to say order your custom shirts today. That's going to be my H1 tag. So I have just H1 less than greater than sign to create the tag. And then in between them, I have order your custom shirts today. You're welcome to use any H1 tag that you want. You can put anything in between there. It's totally up to you. Okay, so that was simple enough. I'm going to come back to my directions. All right, and then number three, add a text input for each of the following to allow customers to input their personal information for ordering. Okay, so text input. We learned about this in our Freshman 101 project. So if you haven't reviewed the Freshman 101 project, you need to go back and do that first. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to input text inputs into our page that is going to allow a customer to enter their name, address, city, state, zip code, and phone number. Okay, so six different things that we need to have text inputs for. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to put in our form tag, okay, because we are creating forms. Now, inside of the form, we're going to go ahead and just type name and a colon. Then we're going to do a line break tag, okay, so that our input, our text input, is sits below uh, the name. Okay, so here we're going to do a less than sign, the word input, I-N-P-U-T, type, equals text because we're having a text input. We're going to click to the right of our quotation marks, type name equals quotation marks, and then name again. Then close your input type um, tag with a greater than sign. We're going to do an another line break. Okay, and we're going to drop down and we're going to do address. And we're going to do it pretty much the same way. Okay, so in order to help you with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a shortcut. I'm going to copy this input type up here because they're, they're both going to be text. And I'm going to click to the right of my line break to make a blank line of code. Okay, and I'm simply going to paste my previously created code. Okay, because a lot of it's not going to change. What is going to change is the name value. Okay, so out here I want to go ahead and I want to put an address inside of the quotation marks after name equals. So it's going to be input type equals quotation mark text, just like it was above. Then it's going to be name equals, just like it was above, quotation marks, but then I'm going to type address because this is my address input, okay, not my name. Then I'm going to keep my line break out at the end because beneath address we're going to do city, colon, line break again, so br, and then you can simply just paste again. 
Okay, and out here, after the equal sign, quotation mark, name, you want to change the name that's inside the quotation mark to city. Okay. If I were you, I would just do a quick save. Then come back in. Click to the right of your line break out at the end of city. Hit enter. State. Colon. Okay, another uh, line break. Paste again. And you're going to change name to state. Notice how they're all lowercase. Enter. Zip code. Paste again. Change name inside the quotation marks to zip code. Okay, no space and no capitals, just zip code. Enter. And the last one that we needed to do was phone number. Colon, line break. Okay, and I notice I missed a line break up here at zip code, so I'm going to go back and put that in. Okay, come back down to phone number. Hit enter. Paste. Okay, and here we're going to change the name inside the quotation marks to phone. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put in a line break right here because that's going to set us up for our next step. All right, so let's go ahead and save it and run it. And take a look at what we have. Okay, click run. Click your shirt orders tag, tag or yeah, <laughs> shirt orders link. Okay, click that. All right, and there's our H1 tag that we created. And then here are our text inputs. So I can go ahead and I can type anything that I want in here. You know, it doesn't matter. It's totally up to the customer. Okay, so this is going to allow customers to put in their personal information so that we're going to know where to send the shirt after they're done ordering it. Okay, so that is step number uh, three in the project. Okay, step number four, add a radio button input that allows the customer to select either a small, medium, large, extra large, or extra, extra large shirt. Okay, so let's come back. Radio buttons were covered in the Freshman 101 project. Okay, so if you didn't, if you need to go back and review that, you can. Okay, but below our line break, what we're going to do is we're going to type select a size. Oops. Okay, select a size, colon, and then another line break. Hit enter. And now here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another input type. Okay, so we're going to do less than sign, input type, equals, quotation mark, the word radio. R-A-D-I-O. It's going to allow us to put in a radio button. Okay, after the quotation mark, type name equals quotation mark size. Okay. Click to the right of the quotation mark, put in value equals quotation mark small. Okay, click to the right of the quotation mark, and we're going to go ahead and put checked. Okay, and that means that the small uh, shirt size will automatically be checked as our default. Okay, so whenever, whenever somebody comes in, the small is going to be automatically selected. They'll have to change that to select their own t-shirt size. Okay, after the word checked, we'll close the input tag. We're going to type the word small because that will be the word that appears beside our radio button. And then we're going to do our line break tag. So br slash in between a less than and greater than sign. Okay, and we're going to go ahead, and what I want you to do is to copy all of this. Copy this line of code. So copy it. Hit enter. I'm going to make a little bit more space here so that you can see it all. Okay, we're going to paste what we just copied. All right, and a lot of this is going to stay the same. What I want to change is the value, okay? So inside the quotation marks after the value equals, I want to change the next one to medium. And I'm going to change the small to a medium. And I'm going to get rid of the checked after the medium as well. Okay, so we, get, we got rid of the checked. We changed the small in both places to medium.